What's up, Stunners? Welcome to another local band smoke. I'm your host, Harry the Most BG, and today I have Killed by Florida, and they're a self-titled album. We're doing an album review right here, so it's going to be kind of a longer episode. Uh, at Killed by Florida on Facebook, and they're actually from West Palm Beach, Florida, which is where I'm from. So I thought I'd do something a little crazy that I never really do. I've got a 40 here, and because they're from my hometown, I'm going to fucking crack this guy open and try to consume the whole thing during this uh, review. I've already got all my notes written down, so don't think I'm listening to it all I'm fucking drunk and writing it down. I've already got my whole review. I just want to explore it with you guys. Before we get started, of course I got lots of smoke tonight. I've got CBD Pearls, Bong, Bubbler, Top Shelf Joint, couple things going on. Sponsors, Royal Blunts, The Turp House, I re -roots, Extracts, Vape Out, <clears throat> located in Apple Valley in the High Desert. Hit them up and they'll take care of all your vaping needs. They'll even hook you up if you mention local band smoke out. Cold Cock Whiskey, Glunt, The King Brand, Boost AK Integra Products, Dirty Radio, Rock Rage Radio, California Care Group. If you go to, if you use any of their deliveries in uh, Southern California, I think I took like the smallest of ever and I already got the beer first. <laughs> Mention local man smoke out um, <clears throat> to California here and they'll give you free meds with your order. Dave Fitz is our tattoo giveaways and Dennis with Rope Brand at Rope Brand on Instagram. So yeah, so the first song is Ruling Class Holocaust. And um, we're gonna just go track and order. This is your first time seeing one of my album reviews. And uh, I can just write, like I said, I just write down notes for each song. And uh, the first the first one, Ruling Class Holocaust. Is uh, it kind of opens softly, just kind of slowly, softly, and then bam, it hits you right away. And it just says, hey, welcome to punk. This album is a punk album. It's very fast, very loud, and it's this super sweet, wicked guitar solo. And if Kill by Florida, if you guys are watching this, I encourage you to also open your 40s at the same time. And I challenge you, drink the whole thing with me as we review the whole album. But yeah, let's check out Ruling Class Holocaust. Now these are only snippets of each song. It's like a little more than a minute of each one because, you know, that'd be like an hour long episode. But anyway, spark it up if you got it, drink it up if you got it, and let's check out Killed by Florida. idea of what this album will sound like <clears throat> that was ruling class holocaust that was for opening track second one is nobody cares track two and uh, I like the part where it says that you'll get what you deserve it's kind of another speedy angry song um, and then there's a there's a cool like description breakdown part where the vocalist is like he kind of gives a description of uh, <coughs> I, I guess who he fucking doesn't care about or, or does care about but just complaining that nobody cares about what this person is talking about. I apologize if I have the beer burps this whole episode. I'm having fun. I think it's fucking awesome. These guys are from West Palm, my hometown. So anyway, Kill by Florida, track two. Nobody cares. In a second. Okay. Suicide! Life of the other dude, I fucking fly! Kill your suicide! 
shit, I just fucking realized something. There's no 40s in Florida. So you guys in Kill, <laughs> Killboy Florida couldn't even do this. So the challenge is off. Rechallenge to a 32 instead. <clears throat> I'm already full, by the way. I'm about up to here. That's hard to see, but I only got this much left already. <coughs> I'm full. <coughs> that was nobody cares. Track two. Um, you just got to hear the whole song to hear that cool label description part, but um, that's that's why I jot down some of the notes I jot down. You're not gonna hear it in the sample, but it's kind of like you know entices you to go listen to the rest of the music. So we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna do our first break. We're gonna do this episode in three parts, like we always do for our album breakdowns. Track three is Howley's, and um, I really love the vocals in this one. It's kind of a short and sweet song to jam to, and uh, the tempo change uh, one part is really sweet. Once again, you listen to facebook.com slash killedbyflorida. That's their uh, link to check them out. And we're reviewing their self title, but this is track three Howley's. And let's see what we got. Track three, Howley's, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back with the second half of the album. All right, I literally oh, just took a pee break, and that's it. I have not touched the rest of the forty. We're still up to here. I'm fucking full, dude, already. Um, but yeah, so we're reviewing "Killed by Florida," their self-titled album, <clears throat> facebookcom slash Killed by Florida, from West Palm Beach. You can guess what state? It's in Benin. Uh, track four, "Love by Few." First couple of tracks kind of start similar, but then this one actually breaks format and we kind of like <clears throat> it breaks for a bit, but then it kind of continues the rest of the madness. Really, really, really good solo in this one, and then um, so far I wrote down so far I really want to if I was hanging out with these guys I guess so far I really want to blaze blaze with them and then just push them someone around at their show because it seems like their show would just be awesome like a lot of high energy and each song is just. You know, like, which is awesome, just instantly crazy fucking awesome shit. Punk's not really my thing, man, but I'm kind of feeling what I'm hearing so far, but... Anyway, let's check out track four. Loved by you. You. <coughs> track five is <coughs> Nothing's Wrong. And this one has a really cool like opening riff and closing riff. <coughs> it's kind of short, but <coughs> it's a really dope opening riff and it comes back in a closing riff. And then uh, this one kind of doesn't start as fast as the other ones, but it gets there. You know it's already going to get there, but it gets there. Ah, so full. But never turned out a good challenge. 
<coughs> well, that's not true. But I try not to. Track five, my bad. I usually already have these queued up, but since I have all ten songs loaded in here, it takes me a second to unmute one of the doll pet at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Track five, nothing's wrong. Here we go. Nothing's wrong, and then track six we have Kill Rick Scott, which is actually one of my favorite tracks on the whole album. Fuck Rick Scott. There's some really cool gang vocals going on in this one. It has a catchy hook, and uh, I like the line about noose. Uh, but yeah, let's check out Kill Rick Scott with track six. As soon as I queue it up again, my stoner ass keeps forgetting. I have to unmute the other one, or we're gonna hear the same song again. Kill Rick Scott. Scott, <clears throat> I'm so fucking full. I'm doing well in the challenge, Joe. I got this much left. <clears throat> Alright, this next one sounds like <clears throat> what I'm about to do as soon as I pause right after this one because it's called Bucket of Piss and I have to do that. <laughs> but um, this one reminds me of a Sex Pistols meets Guar song. Um, it has a cool tempo change section and I think it's actually another one of my favorite songs so far. I kind of had four, uh, four songs that were my favorite. I'm writing it down because I did not write it down at the bottom for my assessment at the end. But this one's called Bucket of Piss. Toby, what you guys think of this one? And here we go. Pause right here, guys. 
and come back with part three of Killed by Florida. Right. I'll review. We're back. Part three, Killed by Florida. I'll review. We are on track eight, I D G A F S, which I think you'll find out what that means shortly. But I put uh, it's got a little bit of a different sound to it at first, and uh, the hook's really cool. Um, and it has like these like what I refer to as like in agony vocals like ah! kind of style like which is tight I don't know I like it um, let's check it out number eight track eight I D G A F S and uh, I've got a little bit of a buzz going on cause for Russian Russian this beer. I don't give a fucking shit. That was track eight. So we got two left. Um, let me plug them one more time. Facebook.com slash killed by floor is pretty easy to remember. I don't know why I forgot that. What's Palm Beach? My hometown. I'm um, having fun. Feeling the buzz. I'm feeling drunk. I'm not normally drunk on this show, so this is a little <laughs> unusual for me. But um, we're working through it. I just thought this would be a cool thing to do just because I'm from West Palm Beach and they are as well. Technically, I'm from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, but that's part of West Palm Beach. They know what I'm talking about. Anyway, track nine, No One's Victim. And uh, uh, this one kind of starts like it could be a single to me, actually, when I first heard it. It has more of those, like, in agony vocals, which is cool. And I'm telling you, these guys have so many dope-ass fucking gang vocals going on. This is another great example of gang vocals. They do really well. And I put, um, it really sounds like Guar's deceased frontman here again. Um, which is tight. Those guys are huge. Hopefully Kill by Florida can be super huge also. And even when they don't really sound like overall, there's elements, I think, that remind me of them. And they may think I'm crazy. You guys may think I'm crazy. Whatever. I'm having fun. Enjoying some punk rock music. And hopefully you are too. No one's victim. Track 9. Let's see what we got. going to take us to the last one, which is Argo. Now this song is a completely different feel than the other ones do. Uh, and I originally I wrote down this was the longest song on the album, but then there's a little bit of something hidden. So it's technically not the longest song, there's just the hidden song that comes after it. So if you actually get to check out the whole song of Argo, check out the hidden song. It's, but well, I'm just going to let you discover it. And uh, there's some really cool drum changes. So this is track 10. Argo, hopefully you guys are almost done with your beers. I'm literally right here. 32s, 40s, what have you, it doesn't matter. We're all having fun. It's Kill by Florida album review. And we're rocking out. Argo. <laughs> Oh! 
Cheers. You guys finish your beers. All right, fucking hope so. So that was track 10, Argo. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, that leaves us with the assessment. Now, for me, overall, I don't really ever listen to the speed punk as, a, as I would refer to it, for lack of a better way to say it, because... <coughs> oh, pardon. Super huge beer burp that I needed to do. So 7 out of 10. But I have a second rating that I want to give these guys, which is 8.8 .8 out of 10. Because I fucking, I've heard a lot of speed punk, and just based on the speed punk I've heard before, that's on, I'm sorry, I keep calling it speed punk, that just, just bear with me. 8.8 out of 10. Because it's crushing most of the other, that similar to that genre that I've heard before. So, cheers to you guys. So, originally 7.10 for me as a just not favoring, you know, going assessing like that. But I think I am going to start rating it both ways now. Um, anyway. 8.8 out of 10. And the, the notes I've written down is uh, I don't listen to a lot of speed punk, but if I did, it would definitely be these guys. A couple of really sweet solos in the songs from the guitarist. It's a little bit of a short album, but it uh, does not really matter. Most albums are from, from punk bands, so no big deal. It's really fast and loud from start to finish. Argo ends the album strong as it kind of stands out different than the others. Uh, I love the little hidden section that happens. And uh, I put just that. I love when bands have a hidden song. My favorite songs are Kill Rick Scott, Argo, I don't, I D G A F S, I'm drunk, I'm sorry, and uh, Bucket of Piss. <laughs> Cheers, guys, I appreciate you submitting, this was fun. If you're in a band and uh, want to do something similar to this, uh, hit me up, facebook.com slash local band smokeout. I'm also on Instagram, Master Roots, and YouTube. And uh, we also do, well, I'm drunk. I'm just going to leave you guys. Have a great time.